This is my best self-sufficient me impressionation. I haven't watched this stuff in forever, so. Hello. Today, we're going to be... <laughs> Why did you fully commit? <laughs> Halfway committed. All right, let's try it one more time. One more time. Hello. Today, what we're doing is we're building a shed. Now, sheds, they're sturdy. And what you want is a really sturdy shed. I like sheds with roofs and sides. And today, I'm going to show you how we do it. <laughs> Good. That's my best self-sufficient me. I really like that guy. I love his channel. I totally forgot his name. It's just slipped in my mind. What is up everyone? Today what we're going to be doing is converting this old little shed that we have outside of our uh, grow space here that we have been using for like storing our lawnmower and really just a bunch of junk. Like we have a whole bunch of stuff in there that we don't need to be storing in there. We really need to be sorting through it. But what we're hoping to do is turn this all into a nice little greenhouse. It's got a nice steel frame to the whole thing. Uh, so we're gonna be pulling off the steel paneling on the outside, mainly on this first wall right here and then on the roof. What we're planning to do is put clear panels on this side and then white panels across the top that allow 45% of the light through. And then that way we get some nice morning sun coming through into the greenhouse. And then we block most of the light coming for the rest of the day because it does get quite hot here in Texas. And if we do completely clear on the top, I think it'll get way too hot inside of that little space. So it'll act almost as a shade cloth. So what we need to do first is I need to go ahead and get all these panels removed off the top and the sides. And then we're gonna get the sides up first to get those cut to size as you could see somebody uh, attempted to cut this at a uh, angle here to make it fit before and they did a pretty weird job going down it so we're gonna hopefully do a little bit better of a job at that and we don't want this thing to be like completely sealed we're not gonna try to make this airtight really this is just gonna be kind of a semi protected environment for us to grow some microgreens and Mandy to put some plants out here and stuff like that so what I'm gonna be using is just a simple little tip here uh, that goes straight into these bolts that we have on this uh, grow space <laughs> And we're gonna start just one by one, pulling all of these out, and then we're gonna replace these in the end. So I need my little magnetic clip, where it is right here, and that way we can save all of our screws. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on this. Yeah, since these are screwed into steel, I probably will need my more powerful handheld. I'm doing this with my little 12 volt tiny lithium batteries. I'm gonna have to bust out the 20 volt. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, on the bottom. Oh, we already got one panel down. All right, that was easy. One panel is done. Oof, we got some nice life happening back here. Hi, bugs. <laughs> oh, we have some little ladybugs chilling on the inside of this too. Oh wow, a whole bunch actually. Okay, cool, one panel down. Really, I need to get up there on the roof first and get that out of the way, and then we will move on to all of this. Let me set this out of my way. And we will find some way of repurposing all that. What I think I'm gonna end up doing with all the roof panels over here is actually building a nice little, I think I'm gonna use all these and build a little hoop structure to cover up our lawnmower and that'll be uh, what we use those for. As for the side ones, I'm not sure. We'll try to figure out some kind of use for them. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna get a better screwdriver because this one is a little weak. I think I'm gonna need a crowbar. All those guys are stuck, I'm gonna to pry them out. Well, I need a pry bar to get out these little rusted ones that are kind of stuck in here. So, Mandy, <laughs> let's go. All right, so Mandy got me a trusty little crowbar here that I had. So let's go ahead and get these last few screws removed. There we go. That's a lot easier than trying to pull it out with my hand. Whoops. There we go. There we go. There. All right, now this guy is free. Okay, let's get it up. I'm just gonna timber it over the side. There we go. One panel down. Some good looking steel beams there. A little rusty, but they'll do the job. All right, sweet. I'm gonna get to it and get the rest of these top panels removed. I'll see you guys in just a second. All 
All right, y'all, so I have got the roof completely removed. I gotta say, it feels a lot more spacious in here now that we have that uh, kind of dark metal off. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look with all the white paneling on it. Uh, so now our next goal is to get these side panels off. You can actually see right here why we left this uh, side on. We really wanna block that evening sun. So right now it's, let's see, I think it's about five or so in Texas. Yeah, we're about six o'clock. So from about six o'clock, we're, we're knocking out most of the light out of this, uh, what's gonna be a grow space. So that's really what I want. I don't want these microgreens being in full sun 24 seven or whatever we're growing in here. It's just gonna be a partial shade. And worst come worse, if we need more light in here, what we can do is we can always pull down that wall in the future and re-put up a nice, probably white, white panels or maybe even clear if we do need that light. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing down this side wall. I had to go get some hydration as well as putting on my boots. That way I don't have any of those big old, big old spiders crawling in my tennis shoes. There are some big old spiders back there. But we got that wall taken off. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this little wooden, I forgot what that's called, it's like a press board. Plywood? Plywood, thank you. I was like, I know the word for this. It's just evading me at the moment. So I'm gonna get this plywood here pulled off and we will see. Wow, there's a lot of dirt stacked up on the inside there. How this comes off. Oop, a lot of spider webs. Spooder webs, spooder webs. Lots of spooder, spooder webs. That's a long screw right there. There's some boards growing underneath my feet. I don't know how well that's gonna do after I've stapped on it. Stapped. Stapped on it 25 times. I'll be quiet so you guys can just watch me do stuff. Are you not entertained? All right, uno, panelo, downo. Actually, no Spanish, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible sentence. <laughs> I don't want the webs on my face. Paneling is down. There's a bunch of little buggies, a bunch of little buggies running around. Now I need to dig away some of this stuff with a shovel, the shovel. Let's get this dug away so I can make a nice base. Oh, this is like glue over here. It is just like caking on. I right, go. This is so much. Look at my, look at this. Look at this. What are those? Looking good in there though. My shoes are basically mud. My boots. Break time. Already. So I have uh, dug out most of this base. I tried to mess with that tree and it turns out that's like a little mini tree trunk right there. So I couldn't really get it out of the ground. I tried chopping it with a handheld sawzall and it's basically overheated my battery trying to get through the roots. So we're just gonna leave it for the time being. I think I can fit the panel behind it. So we're just gonna focus on that. Now what we need to do is get our clear panels up along the side of this. I'm gonna have my beautiful assistant Mandy help me out with this process. So there's a lot of good ways of doing this. I don't know that I'm gonna do any of those and I'm just gonna slap it up against there and screw it in. <laughs> Good news is, it's telling me my height in a very lazy fashion for me. Okay, so I say right there, and we'll still have that gap like we had before. All right, so. We can always uh, be beveled edges with wood. Oh yeah, we could put the nice edges there if you like. Right, first of all, I'm gonna flip this around the other direction. Yeah, let's go that way with it. All right, so I need to measure. I'm gonna run to the gross space and get a Sharpie. I'm gonna need that ladder. Uh, actually, kind of marked it up by scratching it there. She's gonna go give me a Sharpie, and by the time she gets back, I won't need it. Okay, make sure that's straight. All right, now I'm gonna need a place to cut all this. Come on, Mandy, give me that Sharpie. Give me that Sharpie, yeah. Scratch it up. I got our height, because I scratched it up, thank you. So each one of my panels is 26 inches, supposedly. We are at, yeah, 26 inches. You go to that side for me. Let's go from end of post. 
Yeah, the end of that post. 124 inches, so 126. There's gonna be a one inch overlap on each one probably. I'm gonna cut just below that mark and we'll just cut all of them to that and we'll have that nice little triangle shape right there as a breezeway. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. All right, cool, let go of this. And yeah, if you don't mind, just for, what did I say, five of them? Six five. of them, five. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the saw and I will be right back. Alrighty, y'all. So we have successfully pulled off the roof, pulled off the sidewall, gotten the uh, plywood off. Mandy has cleared the entire inside of this thing like a trooper while I was working on all that. So we'll have a lot of stuff. I mean, honestly, now that we have everything pulled out of here, this is quite spacious and we can uh, get an idea for how big this space is right now. So if you'll release it. No, is that the maximum? All right, so the maximum, let's see what the maximum is. So what are we at? 144. All right, so that's tw 12 feet. Okay, so pull it, pull it tight. So that's 12 feet. Keep an idea of where that's at. All right, and then let it go back. And then, boop, let's go right here. And we got another uh, three feet. So we're at 15 feet. Oh, no, it was 12, it was 12. <laughs> you said 11 last and that was messing with me. I think we're tired. Yeah, it's been a long day. But um, so we're at 15 feet across for the back area. And then here, if you'll take this over here. All right, 15 by, all right, 10 and a half. 15 by 10 and a half. So we got about 150 square feet of grow area in here, which is a ton of space to do stuff with. So what you guys should be expecting out here is, so number one, we have our grow space right behind this. And uh, we also have our power supply right behind or right next to that. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, running some cords into this grow space from there. Uh, so we can have supplemental lighting in here uh, if we need it, as well as we're gonna have like some NFTs. Uh, we're gonna start doing some outdoor microgreens. Awesome. Crack key systems. She wants some crack key systems. We're gonna be doing some uh, outdoor Amazing. microgreens. I'm gonna be doing, uh, I think right here, we'll probably do the main uh, microgreen wall. That way we only get the morning sun and then uh, that evening sun uh, doesn't really mess with it too much. Uh, so we're gonna be doing all kinds of hopefully uh, good plants out here. I'm gonna be building some stuff for Mandy as well, like little hanging gardens. There's also some outdoor bushes and stuff that I wanna put out here to provide a little bit of shelter for things like prey mantises because they are hatching all over the place. And that is one of the things that's gonna be fun about this because I'm sure we're gonna see them in there too. <laughs> we were getting ready to start cutting these and throwing up the pieces and I realized I forgot a very crucial part of this. So for these plastic panels, there's little wooden pieces or you can even get like composite materials that go in between these so you can provide um, more stability and strength throughout them. And we've been having some super gnarly uh, thunderstorms here in Texas. And my fear is if I just screw this thing straight into steel, um, we're not gonna have that much stability on this. So um, I just don't wanna take the risk. This is like, I think we're at $700 in plastic panels. So I don't wanna be wasting uh, that much. I mean, they have a lifetime warranty, but if I use them incorrectly, I don't think that it counts for anything. <laughs> so, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut down for the day. We got two days of storms coming up. So I'm a little bummed, but this will be part one. We're gonna go ahead and release this. And then uh, what we're gonna do is is, uh, we'll go out and buy the supplies and we'll get all ready. And as soon as uh, the storms go away or we get a few clear hours, we'll probably come out here and try to knock out this because we are really excited to start doing some outdoor grows. I mean, what we could be doing is we can hang systems from the roof. Uh, we can utilize vertical uh, gardens in here. We can honestly do a lot with this space. So I'm really excited to see what we're gonna be doing. So stay tuned. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this kind of random video from us. We know that we're excited to be doing this. So I'll see you guys here in a few days. Keep on believing.